Since Kickstarter thinks that a $600,000 My Little Pony Island is a brilliant idea, and me simply looking to raise a small amount of cash for a camcorder so I could actually do more things with my show isn't a good idea and didn't improve my Kickstarter project, I'm going to go about this the old-fashioned way. And no, I'm not kidding. I guess they must have a thing for bronies. Okay. Yes, I am asking for donations. Yes, I know I'm going to be called an e-beggar no matter what I say. But I'm doing this with a twist that no one else has done because I don't just want your friggin' money. I really don't. I honestly don't. What do I need? I need a camcorder for the show, straight up. Um, using gameplay footage, I'm constantly dealing with uh, getting copyright claims on my videos. That's another reason why, minus the fact that I've been insanely busy, that you haven't seen videos. I'll upload a video. Um, do have a commentary news story, and I'll go to work, and I'll go, I'll go to make a public through my cell phone. And it says, match third-party content. So I can't upload the video, and then I have to, you know, dispute the claim, and most of the time I win. Uh, but it's becoming like a huge chore it makes it impossible to get stories up on time so on and so forth two i want to start doing skits for my show i want to do more reviews and a flip cam is just not cutting it i can't i want to film my own face i can't film my own face with a flip cam okay so what i'm asking for is donations if you could give five cents if you could give two bucks I want to try to raise $500 to get a camcorder. I'm not looking for a red $20,000 camcorder. I'm looking for something basic, clean, 1080p, so I can improve my channel. Now, how is this not e-begging? You're like, Rich, you're doing the same thing everyone else is doing. A year from when I... There's two things. A year from when I reached a $500 goal. So, say it's two days from now. Say it's a week from now. A year from that day that I hit the 500 I will donate $500 out of my own money to a charity of your choosing, period. You uh, have a video up once a year comes around saying, hey, I want to give back. What charity should I donate to? Two, anybody who donates even a penny over 500 bucks is going to get the money returned to them. I'm doing this through PayPal. I'm not looking for free money. I'm not looking to just line my pockets. If you donate more than, if people go over the 500 buck limit, I'm sending it back to you. I don't just want your money. So this is the way I want to go about it. I want to prove that not everyone who does this is an e-begging scumbag. And I want to do it to improve my show. And I'll prove that I'm doing this for genuine reasons by a year from now giving back to the community. So think what you will. I know what I'm doing is right. And even if you cannot, even if you can't afford to donate a penny, all I ask of you is to be a subscriber to this channel. If you can, great. If not, don't worry about it. Just the fact that you watch my videos is all the support you need to do. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Hey guys. This is your Blackbuster Critic, and I'm here to do a product review of a camcorder that I have recently bought. You see, things are getting slowly and steadily easier for me in life, so I'm feeling the need to go back to making videos. I enjoyed making videos in the past. There's so much that needs to be said, so much that needs to be done. It is time to do this. So I went out and bought a new tool, a Sony HDR. 260V and let me tell you right now it is a phenomenal camera and I bought this with my own money how about that I didn't have to come on to YouTube and make a video e-begging my subscribers for a camera that I not necessarily needed but wanted it does serve a purpose but it is in fact my responsibility for my own equipment so if there's something I need I have the pride the self-respect and the work ethic to go out work the extra hours and make the money to buy the product that I feel that I need I am NOT gonna beg my subscribers for money for something that I'm going to own that's no shot at anyone in particular. Hello, Blackbuster Critic. 
It's your old buddy Rich from Review Tech USA or Review Bank USA. You've had some colorful things to say about me, but unlike many other people, I'm not afraid to actually talk to you on Skype. So, since you have a lot of things on your mind about me, let's just do it the good old fashioned way and debate it live on Skype and see how it goes. The offer is on the table, buddy. Hopefully, you accept. I'm going to bed. Have a good one. Okay, guys. Unexpected development here. But already, this particular person has admitted defeat. Now, how did he do this? He fell into a very classic trap. There's a reason why I mentioned no names in my previous video. You know why? Because the guilty party will always point themselves out. What I said could be applied to a lot of people. But this one particular person personally came to my video and was talking trash. For some reason, my accounts getting flagged down by Flaggots was relevant. And he called me a leech. Evidently, the comment about the leech is that I'm trying to gain views and subscribers and such by, I guess, going after him, even though in that video I didn't mention his name and nowhere in my tags was his username either. In the suggested videos, he's not there. So obviously, I wasn't looking for the guy to come to this video. It was just a little comment for my video for those who were watching me. That's all. But as I said before, the offended are the offenders. No one is going to get offended if they're not an offender. You expose yourself. Well, I'll be live on Ustream. Not Ustream, but Twitch TV. At 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And if you want to come out and Skype me and debate like you say you do, that's fine. Just bear in mind that I know everything that you have said over the past few months. And I know plenty of things, plenty of questions to ask you, which you're going to goof up on. Just like in our last debate, how I led you by the hand like a child encountering your own points. That's what's going to happen again. I'm just letting you know now. I'm, I'm just being nice and letting you know now exactly what I'm going to do. I at least have to give you a handicap. I at least got to tell you what's going to happen. Because otherwise, it'd be a slaughter. It'd be a downright slaughter. There'd be no fight back. Anyway, Twitch TV, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. I have to start a little bit early because I have to go to work tomorrow. I get up at 5 a.m. to go to work. Get home around 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And that's nearly every day, not counting the times when I work overtime. Because I'm a hard worker. And I don't accept handouts. Man, that nap sure screwed me up before. I'm sure I'm tired. Let me just randomly pan across my desk for no particular... Oh! Oh! Look at this. It's a Sony camcorder. Hmm. Man, I could have swore that I sold this for a Canon T3i, but I didn't! It's right here. Man, I wonder who this video is for. Hmm. I don't know. Get a clue before you talk about me. <laughs> Toodles. There's a reason why he didn't go through with the debate. A very good reason. And he heard a lot of it. It's amazing how, it's really amazing how the cancellation of the debate came about while I was talking a little bit of what I was going to say in a live stream. Hmm. Maybe he didn't like what he was going to hear. Maybe he had no response to the things that I was going to say. For example, Instead of e-begging, by getting a lump sum of cash by e-begging, you could simply 
go to errands or rent a center and just periodically pay off rent to own a camera. Now, you guys gave him a lump sum of money, enough to buy a camera, but he's donating that money he got for the camera periodically to a charity. So, why couldn't he periodically just put the money aside to buy a camera? Any response to that, fanboys? That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? The same thing that he's doing for the charity, he could have done for the camera. But these sort of thoughts, this sort of logic goes right over your heads, doesn't it? Just right over your heads, doesn't it? Because you guys aren't trying to see the truth. You guys aren't trying to see the illogical fallacies, the illogical thoughts, just the mess that was created by your YouTuber. And he has no one to blame but himself. He has seen it happen before. He has mentioned previous people who have had the same issues. He mentioned three kilobytes and what happened to them. So he knows how people react to it. He knows how it is when these things happen. Yet he still went through with it. Because he had everything to gain. He got a camera. He got a tax right off with a camera. And then you guys gave him a tax write-off for the charity. There's a reason why he didn't debate me. A very good reason. Because I am logical. What I say makes sense. I put the facts before me. I gather information. It wouldn't have gone over well. The best thing to do, finally, after nearly a month, finally he decides to let it go. Do not let this happen again. I have nothing against you. I never have. Have I said anything about your character? Yes. I think you're lazy. You didn't put in the extra work to get the things you wanted. Instead, you took the easy way out. You begged for cash. He made a video called, I need your help. The thumbnail was of PayPal. That's an e-begging video. No other way about that. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's Rich, you know, at the uh, Cupcake Factory right now. Uh, there's a video that NextGen720 get it in again because he's looking to get views. Uh, he's he's concerned about my finances, so I'm going to explain how things work. Um, when I said I was losing money at the job I'm currently at right now, that's actually a factual thing. See, when you work at something, when you're actually there, you make money. When you're not, you don't make money. I did the math and sat down for probably a couple weeks and, and did looked at numbers and things like that. And it would be more worthwhile to do the YouTube thing. Uh, secondly, for everyone out there who keeps on bringing up, oh, it, he's did the he's doing the charity as a business exp as a business write off. If I had the money up front, you could say it was for business too. Even if you don't actually officially own a business, and use you could write off what you purchased. I've done it before, so that one's null and void. Um, saw a Blackbuster Critics video where he bought the same camera I bought. I hope to God he didn't just do that just to troll. It was an indirect trolling video. I'll admit, he's the one he was, talk I was, he was talking about. Um, I'm paying the payments back. Uh, actually, I've been doing it, like I said, once every two weeks when I get my uh, check. I have my last one on my phone. I screen capped it because that's how I paid my last payment. Um, I didn't scam anybody. I know he's a trolling videos, I know, but for people to go around, I saw like more games Jay commented, um, and he doesn't know the other side of it. Uh, Jay, if you follow me on Facebook, you go to Review Tech USA, you'll be seeing I've been making the payments back. So, Hauntmaster Flex, everyone out there who's deeply concerned about what I'm doing, 
you, you need to, you know, don't go into the whole thing, oh, I'm trolling, I'm just mind messing with you. You personally messaged me, told me to calm down. And I had to have had time to respond back, and I see you acting like a tough guy under uh, Next Gen 720's video. It's flattering, bro, it really is. I'm glad, you know, just make a video once in a while proving that you have a life and put a woman in your thumbnail, and we'll all be impressed by what you do. People are funny, man. I guess this is going to happen inevitably, eventually with something else anyway. So, you want to see I'm making the payments, follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash ReviewTechUSA, and you'll see that I'm actually paying the thing back. And whether I had the money or not, either way, it could be written off as a business expense, which wasn't my intention. Thanks, though. I appreciate the uh, shout-out. Hope you guys get some views off of talking shit about me. Hope it works out for you. See ya. I am so sick and tired of these e-beggars here on YouTube acting like they're victims! Now before we get into the main e-beggar that we're going to talk about, who lives in the USA, let's talk about a few other examples of e-begging and e-beggars and why e-begging in general is just plain wrong. First and foremost, as an e-beggar, when you e-beg, you know what that does? That shows your work ethic. That shows your dedication and your diligence to what you are doing. If it meant that much to you, you would put in the extra hours, you would work hard to make that happen. That's what I did. Look at this crappy camera I used to work with. Look at this thing. It's a JVC HD camcorder called a Pixio. This thing is garbage. It's garbage. I didn't like using that thing. There was so much feedback. I didn't like the microphone. I didn't like the quality. I wanted to get a new piece of equipment so that I could bring my fans a higher level of quality and entertainment than I usually would give. So you know what I did? I bought this Sony camera. The same one that one of our e-beggar friends got. And you know how I did it? <laughs> Come here. <laughs> it's a secret. I worked hard. I worked a lot of hours. And I put a lot of work into my home business. I didn't have a YouTube paycheck with extra cash that I could use. I didn't have that. So I had to put in extra hours of work. And you know what? This $400 camcorder wasn't the only thing that I bought. I also bought this, this power tower, a really nice piece of exercising equipment. I bought a three terabyte external hard drive all at the same time. But for some strange reason, this e-begging individual over here had to ask his fans for the money to buy a camcorder. We've had e-beggars here on YouTube who begged to have their bills paid for, who begged to have gaming PCs made for them, and all kinds of other stuff. But one thing that I've said before that I just really, really can't stand is when these people act like they're a victim. They're not a victim. The only people who are hurting you is yourselves. Like this e-begger in particular that we're talking about. For months. For months, he has been d damage controlling himself, defending himself, and lately he made a new video where he's comparing himself to someone who abused Kickstarter. Yes, he compared himself to someone on Kickstarter that got a bunch of donations and didn't do much with it. I made a comment saying that they're very alike, seeing how they made promises to their fans they didn't keep even though they got the money they wanted. But for some strange reason, he sets himself apart from this guy. He clearly, he stated in his video, See, this is why, this is why people like me who needed donations, this is why we get such a bad rap. <laughs> no, you get a bad rap because it's e-begging. Because it's your equipment that you're going to get, so it should be your responsibility. And the best part is, you lied. You lied to all your fans. Let's go over a few details here. 
Now, all this information I'm about to state was given to us by the said e-beggar. And these, he's done this on Twitter, on Facebook, and YouTube. And all of these things that he's done have been attempts to damage control. So by defending himself and by trying to give us all these reasons why what he's doing is okay, he's going to give us further proof that he lied to every single one of his fans. First and foremost, guess what you said during this whole e-begging jackable on YouTube? You didn't like how it was turning out. You didn't like all the negative feedback. So you know what you said you were going to do? You said you are going to return the camcorder and refund all the money. That's what you said you are going to do. That's what you said you were going to do to fix everything. And just get this just swept off the board. But guess what? You didn't do that. You also told your fans that you were going to do skits. And all these other hilarious things with this camcorder. But guess what? To this very day, you have not fulfilled that promise. Just like the Kickstarter guy. Who you say that you're not within the same league as him. You guys are nothing alike. You guys lie to people that donate money to you. You're nothing alike. But guess what? You told your fans that you needed their help. Remember the title of your video? I need your help. Thumbnail was just PayPal logo. Description! Email to your PayPal. Remember that video you made? It was only up for about a day. But guess what? Guess what? When you told your fans that you couldn't begin to save up for a camcorder, which is why you need their help, that was a lie. Because you, over the course of before and after the camcorder, you proved that you had enough money to do this on your own. But guess what happened? Five days, five days after you got the camcorder, you spent over $400 on Newegg.com and you showed that in your video. So here you are claiming that you don't have the money to get a camcorder and five days after you ordered the camcorder, you spent forty dollars on Newegg, and then shortly thereafter, you buy another Wii U. In your own video, you show that you purchased another Wii U. It's not making sense, is it? All this money that was flowing all of a sudden, right after the camcorder was get, after he got the camcorder, all of a sudden, here's all this money, and then after he got the camcorder, guess what? All of a sudden, he calculates that he can leave his job and live off of the money he makes on YouTube. This tech guy <laughs> sold the camcorder that his fans purchased for him. Now, if my fans purchased me a camcorder, you know what? I would keep it. I would always keep it. That's something special that my fans would have done for me. But he just showed how much he appreciates his fans by selling that piece of equipment that they bought him for another piece of equipment that was useless. But just like I said, a word of advice, do not respond. Do not. Anything you say can and will be used against you. What's up guys, just wanted to make a quick video uh, thanking everybody. Uh, there's been a ton of support for Review Tech USA's Patreon. Hope you don't upset you, hope you don't fucking die of a stroke or have a fucking heart attack, you fat fuck. Christ, get on a diet, Jesus Christ, you fucking retard. And I also want to thank the patrons for Patreon. I'm over a I'm over thousand dollars a month on Patreon and that definitely helps with the office, it helps with the cable bill there. I think Patreons are stupid for YouTubers that make a ton of money, all right? If you're making a ton of money and then you have a Patreon on top of it, I mean, you're really just milking this fucking thing for everything you possibly could get, you know? And if you think I'm hypocritical because I have a donate button on my stream, you can suck my fucking dick. So fuck off. I 
I beg people, I beg corporations, I beg everybody. And to everyone out there who thought I was just trying to scam people, look at these screen caps and shove them up your ass. Have a good one. So some of you may have noticed because I posted a update on Facebook, I took down the Patreon account. And many of you are going to wonder why. Some of you think I'm going to, I was trying to sweep it under the rug, which is another reason why I wanted to make this video because no. Here, this video is staying up and people will know that I had a Patreon campaign posted temporarily. I already in a day got up at 141 bucks, you know, 30 times 100. If I had it up for a month, more than likely I would have at least gotten close, if maybe not a little over uh, what the goal of the campaign was, was which was 3000. Many people, uh, first and foremost, were saying that I was doing it to be greedy. Uh, no. Basically, that when once I hit that goal, I would have gotten rid of my third party sponsors. So it wasn't that I was just looking to get extra money, uh, that it wasn't me looking for just extra bucks to get extra toys and all that crap. Whether it be trolls or whether it be people that really feel that you shouldn't make a dime off of making creating videos for online websites, whether it be YouTube or whatever, I don't get it. So I'm going to end my video uh, with this statement to all the people out there who constantly keep telling me to get a real job. I don't need a quote unquote real job because my bills are being paid just fine. The whole point of the Patreon account, again, was to get rid of third-party advertisers. It wasn't that I was strapped for cash. And secondly, why are you so concerned about how I make my living? Am I selling crack? Am I doing a sex trafficking ring of, of underage girls? No. I do a YouTube commentary channel where I comment on news and talk about my opinions and have a fucking blast doing it. And if that pisses you off, that either means one of two things. You're delusional or you're jealous. And if you are jealous, you need to get out of the house more. And the reason why you're probably not happy with your life and jealous with what I'm doing is because you're sitting behind the computer hating on someone else instead of applying yourself to actually do something with your life. Yes, my job is not physically demanding. And yes, I'm not doing something like construction or working for the post office. But if you think it's easy, by all means, start up a YouTube channel, put years of work in, and hope because it's not guaranteed that enough people will watch that you can make a living off of it. Doesn't sound that easy, does it? Because it isn't. Now shut the fuck up and sit in a corner. Have a good one. If you're a YouTuber and you're making like at least $10,000 a month, at least $10,000 a month, and you have a Patreon, I find that scummy. I do. Like... Why would you ask your fans for money when you could give money back to your fans? I mean, you're the one that's blessed. And to clarify, like, I know some people are, like, trying to raise money to do, like, bigger projects. I guess, like, I understand that. And I understand streaming, like, you're doing a live show. If people want to tip you, that's fine. Before everyone freaks out, I have no ill will against Keemstar. This isn't going to turn into some stupid thing. I guess I'm just pissed off and tired of like the double standard everyone has on the internet.
Keemstar, I don't dislike you. I have no beef with you, but I disagree with you. <laughs> we have a different standpoint on this, and I just do think it's hypocritical that you take donations on when you stream. There's no difference between getting donations in the stream or on a Patreon, period. Rich, I mean, two hours ago I said that, you know, live streaming is different than YouTube, all right? You know, I'm talking about YouTubers that make $10,000 a month and then have a Patreon for their YouTube, all right? It's not the same as a live stream. YouTube and live streaming is co completely different, all right? Most of the money on YouTube comes from ads, right? On streaming, most of the income that comes in to support that entertainment is from donations. They are not the same thing. And I clearly said that two hours ago, and now you're saying I'm being hypocritical. It's just stupid. No, Keemstar, I'm not stupid. I saw this. So you're doing the internet logic thing again. So you get tips, which I've seen you get some pretty good ones, on your stream. That's different than having a Patreon account. Last time I checked, money's green all around. And last time I checked, that's still getting donations, quote unquote, from people that follow you. So there is no difference. I'm not stupid. You're still getting money from people that follow you. So yeah, it, it still falls into hypocrite. I think Patreons are stupid for YouTubers that make a ton of money, all right? If you're making a ton of money and then you have a Patreon on top of it, I mean, you're really just milking this fucking thing for everything you could possibly get, you know? And if you think I'm hypocritical because I have a donate button in my stream, you can suck my fucking dick, all right? Because... I feel blessed that I make this much money. I feel blessed that I get to do this for a living. And that's why I've given out over $30,000 of stuff to my fans this year. So fuck off. So wait, 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 wait. Hold on one second. Now, Keemstar just had a video up where he was saying that people who have Patreons who make so-and-so amount of money are scumbags. But Keemstar, who is a pretty much a self-proclaimed millionaire, who I know makes way more than $10,000 a month, on his stream me page, when as soon as you click on it, he has this. Only on the internet can you accuse someone for doing something, but be a hypocrite and do it yourself. God bless. Um, I still, on a somewhat regular basis, get people saying, Hey, Rich, I want to donate to the show, help you out, blah, 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 blah. So I put up a tally or whatever it is on Twitter. I put up a survey to see if people wanted to donate or not. Um, then from there I said, how, you know, how is someone wanting to give, to give money towards something they like and a homeless person shaking a cup in the street is the same thing and so on and so forth. And it went back and forth between that. Then finally later on, Keemstar did come out and say, hey, Rich, it wasn't directed towards you. And I did apologize. Then admittedly, I took it back because something pinged in my brain and I remember Keemstar is on stream.me. I've seen him get donations on there, and I know that he has some kind of sponsorship through them. So what is the difference? He's calling people who have Patreons who make decent money on YouTube scumbags, and it's kind of the same thing that he's doing. I made uh, a tweet where I basically said, you know, I think it's kind of scummy that, um, you know, people, YouTubers that are making at least $10,000 a month, at least $10,000 a month on YouTube have Patreons for their YouTube, all right? I'm not talking about live streaming. Live streaming is something completely different, okay? And I said, I'm not talking about, you know, YouTubers that have a Patreon for, like, a bigger project, all right? So Rich starts responding to me, okay? And I'm responding back to him. I have no idea that he tweeted about him having a Patreon. I had no idea. So after he apologizes to me, two hours go by, right? And he comes out and he says, got him, right? He's like, look at Keemstar. I take my apology back. Well, well first of all, you apologize because you thought I was talking about you, okay? That's why you apologized, all right? But then you took my apology back because you found that I have a, a, a donate button on my stream. That doesn't make any sense, all right? So at this point, I call Rich out. I go, okay, I know what's going on here, all right? Rich is going to be creating a Patreon, 
and he wants to talk about this issue and he wants to make a video about this issue so he doesn't have to beg, right? Because when Rich put out this poll, because I looked at it after he thought that I was talking about him, right? When Rich put out this poll, there was a bunch of people talking shit to Rich. They were like, fuck you, get a job, like all this other stuff. That poll, 55% of the people told him not to have a Patreon. Only 45% supported it, right? So Rich is thinking in his mind, all right, well, let me make this a thing. Let me make the let me use this controversy no. so I don't have to hey okay. hey this is I As know exactly what you were fucking doing rich you're a manipulator you're a liar and that's exactly where you were going with this because this should have been dropped as soon as you knew I wasn't talking about you, but somehow two hours later you're like, oh, I, I'm going back in there and expose him to be a hypocrite. When the first thing, one of the first things I said on this topic was, I'm not talking about streamers. I'm going to block you if you talk about this one more time. Like, obviously you're trying to make a video out of this. That's exactly what I said to him. And he tweets back at me. All right? I wasn't. I wasn't in the beginning. He tweets back at me. I'm not going to be making a video about this. Now, we all know what happened, right? Rich made a fucking video, all right? He made a video calling me a hypocrite when he tells me that he's not trying to make a video, but then makes a fucking video. What the fuck? Well, well what are we dealing with here? So he, he, he made it seem like streaming is the same thing as fucking YouTube, but it's not. It just isn't. It's not the same platform. It's not the same style of videos. It's not the. It's not the same thing. These are different things. Well, I didn't use it as an excuse because I had that survey up before I saw Keem's uh, tweet that he had. The thing that was interesting though is that when Keemstar had a video, when he puts up those like twenty-second or thirty-second videos on Twitter, and he goes, "Rich, I think you're stupid." And under that, he in the video he said. On streams, all the money, all virtually all the money only comes from donations. But that's where the caveat comes in: is that Keemstar has some kind of deal with Stream.me, yeah. and he's still getting donations. Yeah. So that's the same thing, it just in a different website. As if you have a Patreon and you have a YouTube. What is the difference between – and the thing is, Teamstar, I don't care if like 10 people here right now go, you know what, you could buy a small fucking island, but I'm still going to empty out my bank accounts and give them to you. That's not the point. I don't care about that. But what you're doing here is the same exact thing as if it's a quote-unquote successful YouTuber who makes 10 grand a month and has a Patreon because you're making money from Stream.me before the donate button and you're getting donations. It's really simple. It's just – when you do a live show, you're doing a live show for a certain amount of people, all right? If I said if I thought that streaming was the same as YouTube and a Patreon, I would have said it. No, I clarified my point at the very beginning before you even responded to me that I don't think that streaming is the same thing as YouTube. All right, if people want to do streams and have donate buttons, I don't have a problem with it. That was my opinion that I voiced from the beginning, okay? And two hours later, Rick, after I make this statement, all right, Rich comes out and calls me a hypocrite, okay? It doesn't make sense. Because okay? it's true. <laughs> also, also, on top of that, Rich, you manipulated this whole situation to promote no, your Patreon. And honestly, oh, Rich, stop. if, you're, if you were going through financial problems, you could have DM'd me and said, Keem, yo, Keem give Keem, me some money. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's not the point. He could have reached out to me. If that's not the point. Dude, my you finances stay on topic. are just fine. Stay on topic. Stay on topic. I'm going to stay on like, topic. Like, personal Rich, insults are not you, staying on topic. Rich, if you are going through money problems, you could have reached out to me and I would have helped you like I've helped so many other people. Dude, come on. You could have DM me and said, look, I'm going through financial problems right now. I don't need your money. I don't need your money. I would have helped him. I would have helped him. I don't need your money. Team, no one doubts did your he altruism. he tried to make this a thing. Rich wanted no, no, to make no, no, this no. a thing I... so we could talk about his Patreon. And we're here right now talking about his Patreon. You saw an opportunity for a debate, and you pounced on it, right? You started tweeting at me. Then I respond to you, and I say, look, man, I'm not even talking about you. And then and then you have this – then two hours later, you're like, got him, fucking hypocrite. He's got a donate button. What, what, Rich, I thought we already settled this. Why are you coming back, right? And I tell you, hey, look, okay. I know what you're doing. I tell you, Rich, I know what you're doing. You're going to try to make a video on this because I already knew what was going on. I already knew that you wanted this to be a thing. You want to talk about your Patreon without having to beg. And if you can create some controversy here Keem? and you can upload a video saying, oh, Keemstar is a hypocrite, then you can promote your Patreon without, <laughs> without, without begging. How could I have even, if anything, this quote-unquote drama surrounding this 
And if I opened up a Patreon now, would fucking destroy it. It would fucking destroy it. It would not make people donate to me. Trust me. If there's anyone from my subs watching right now, they could vouch for me that I would get my ass metaphorically pounded and not in a fu good financial way from this. It would have the exact opposite effect. As a matter of fact, before I got into the, the Twitter th spat with you, there was more thumbs up on me starting a Patreon than thumbs down. As soon as I started going at it with you, it went to there was more no's than yes. So it wouldn't have worked in my favor. I seen it the minute you tweeted at me. I went to look to see what you were talking about, and it was 55 to 45. Not in favor of you doing a Patreon. No, it wasn't. That's it was, just there not was more true. yeses than no's. Yes, there was. That's not true, Rich. Okay, it wasn't true. We're talking about a fucking liar, a manipulator, a fucking hypocrite. I'm not, because it was a clip proving the fact that he gets paid from stream.me before he even gets donation. Rich, wow. look, at, you said just a little while ago that you're not going to be making a Patreon. Yeah. Are you 100% you're not going to be making a Patreon? Pretty much, yes. All right. Well, there it is. He's not making a Patreon. What does that have to do with anything? No, because I know, I know that you brought this up to, to basically promote a Patreon. But now that I put you in that corner, you said that you're not going to make one. So I win. Like, I'm happy. But all I know is, is that you manipulated this situation to promote your Patreon, and now that you're backed in a corner, but no, I'm not backed in a corner. You have publicly I'm stated that you are not making a Patreon. It would have not helped it. It wouldn't have. They're not like they're. Yeah, they're, right. Okay, yeah, right. but see, that's that's speculation, though. You can't say that you're right. And I, you know what I mean? Like, hey, man, you speculated that I was talking about you. Listen, Eddie, when he was, me and him were debating about this on Twitter. All right, I knew exactly what he was doing. I tweeted at him and I said, obviously, you are going to try to make a video on this because I knew I knew where he was going with this. I knew why he wasn't dropping it. I knew why he kept. Bringing and I it wasn't going to make a video until you blocked me. You, that's that's an opinion. If you're getting paid from stream.me and you're getting donations, I don't care if you're if you're buying a yacht for kids in a third world country. You're still doing the same thing that someone with a donate button or a Patreon account is doing on YouTube. This is what I said to you, all right? Once I realized what the fuck you were doing, once I realized you were manipulating the situation to promote a Patreon and you were trying to make a video out of this, this is what I said to you. <laughs> I swear to God I that's wasn't. Good, God, strike me, is, God strike me dead this if is what I did I said this to you. promote I go, my Patreon. This but, is okay. two yeah. hours, two hours after I, I explained my point in full so so then he responds by saying i'm not taking offense i'm just stating my opinion as well so i respond to him i respond to him by saying this that's not true you are you were clearly offended and are clearly still trying to talk about this and will likely make a video on it and then rich didn't you respond by saying there's no way i'm gonna make a video on this yeah, and then I put up, it's time to stop from Filthy Frank. And then, like, 10 seconds after that, I was blocked. And I'm like, yeah, this is I, ridiculous. I, Why I, is he blocking me? So, yeah, it pissed me off, and I made a video, to be honest well, with you. Well, listen, guys. I knew from the beginning that this is what Rich was doing. He was trying to create a thing out of this, right? He was being passive-aggressive and said, hey, guys, you know, I don't want, I don't want this That's to not, turn into a Stop thing. trying to be Alex Jones. He doesn't I, have a beard. You don't know that. And I wasn't. I'm not that smart. I wasn't trying to manipulate it. If anything, it would have... Uh, he yes. was. He was. No. So, you know, I knew what he was doing. I knew that he was trying to create this into a thing so he could promote his Patreon. But that's not true because that thing would have done nothing but fuck me in the ass. How? It wouldn't have helped How? me because I know my subscribers. This They would have turned on me. Maybe that doesn't say too much about how much people feel about me, but they would have fucking turned on me, and that the the, the Patreon would have been a disaster. It would have not. Well, this whole thing would have not helped the Patreon. It wouldn't have. Yeah, I know. It yeah, it would have. No, it wouldn't have. Oh, he's not going to make a Patreon. Just like he said he wasn't going to make a video. Just like he apologized to me oh, and took it back. Oh, God. Look, 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 look. If in I this made a Patreon now. In this situation alone, all right, there are three things that fucking Rich did that, that contradicts his first action, okay? And we're going to talk about him right now, okay? One, he tells me he's not going to make a YouTube video about this and does. <sighs> he apologizes to me once he realizes that I'm not talking about him. 
Then two hours later, without there any without being any conversation between me and him, he takes his apology back and uploads a video calling me a hypocrite. Okay? The third one. He uploads a video, and in the video he says, I'm not going to show any footage of Keemstar. And again, this is the evidence where I define that streaming and YouTube is different from my opinion. All right? He, he says he's not going to show any footage because he might get flagged, but then later in the video shows footage of me from my stream. All right? Those are three examples within this situation where this dude has been a complete hypocrite. All right? A complete hypocrite, all right? I don't trust him. I don't trust him. I think that he's a manipulator. Taking, I think he's a liar. Okay, okay. Dude, you're first taking off, this first and off. making it into something much bigger than what I... You made a fucking point. video! Hold on, hold you on, made hold a on, video. hold on. No, no, hey, no, man, no, I'm not yelling. Chill, 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 chill. chill. No, yeah, chill, relax. chill, chill. First of all, can we get 420 in the chat for that excellent British accent from Kim? I thought he did a very good example of me. Did he just say that I'm making this bigger than it has to be? I fucking solved this with you. You apologized to me. I told you this wasn't about you, and that was because the end of it. That it doesn't matter if it was you about me or not. What bothered me, what pissed me off, is that you Just accused me of making this bigger than it has to be. Just accused me of making it bigger than it has to be. Rich, this was solved. This was done and over two hours ago, or two hours after this was solved and done and over with. You brought it back up. Because it wasn't about friend. who you were directing then, it towards. Then, it was the fact you have a double standard towards it. That's what then, bothered me. Then, Rich, then, Rich, I, I responded to you and saying, look, I know what you're doing. I'm going to block you because obviously you're trying to make a video about this. And then you make a fucking video about it. All right. So the reason why this got fucking big is because of you to a point where I have to defend myself and give you even more attention by doing this live event, which you said, hey, I have no problem. I'm going to show up to think about it from my perspective. You po I posted that poll and literally I don't even think it was 10 minutes after you typed that tweet. If the shoe was on the other foot, you, I guarantee you, you would have thought the same thing. Rich, how could I be talking about you? You don't make ten grand a month. You don't make ten thousand dollars a okay. month. Okay, I don't. Okay. Do, well, do you? Because you get five million views a month. I just looked up on Social Blade. Yeah, so, this month because I barely posted, dude. I make no, all right. I'm not going into how much I make. But... <laughs> do you make ten thousand dollars a month? Yes or no? Because I don't think you do. I don't think you have. Yes, I have. Yes, right. I well, I I disagree. Uh, I don't I I don't think that's an honest. Okay, thing. I mean well, I'm not going to tell you. I'm not allowed to tell yeah, you. But all I'm saying is that you called out YouTubers who are having Patreons or donate buttons, whatever the case may be, for being if they're making a certain amount of money, that it's scummy. And you said just say. Okay, you uh, have you a stream. My fucking words again. I can't deal with this, Eddie. Who now, now I'm saying okay. donate Patreon. Buttons. Am I saying Patreon. Patreon. Donate Who buttons gives over a here? shit? How many times are you gonna change what I have to say to fit your oh. no look? You manipulate the situation. You lied three times. We've already went over this a hundred times. And you know what? Now I've backed you in a corner, and you're not making a Patreon. So I'll take it as a win. Dude, don't Anyone even try. Anyone else can say whatever trying, the fuck they want. I'll take it as a win. Yeah, of course you're going to take it as a win. You're you're like making these things and putting them in there to make it as a win. Uh, the I'm, bottom I'm line is this: you're not making a Patreon. Hold on, no, 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 no. You're not making. I'm not not making a Patreon because of you. I wasn't making a Patreon before this. You said, so he, calm down. He said that he wasn't going to make a Patreon because of this situation earlier in this debate, S and now he's saying that he wasn't going to do one from the beginning. I mean, just you just lied again. God damn it. You're trying to make it that I'm lying about things. Next time I mean, you have money problems, don't don't use me. Don't manipulate me for your own agenda. You can just DM me. And dude, stop with the money problems. You I'm don't know. Saying, I don't have a financial situation. That's just a like a situation, dude. That's a low. That's help, an immature, low blow them. thing to say. I would have helped him. How's that immature? Yeah. How's it low? I would have helped you. Because you're, well, you're trying to make it seem like I'm broke, Eddie, bro. am I a generous you're person? You're trying to make it seem like I'm broke, bro. And that has nothing yeah. to do with guys. For the yeah. next hour, all donations will go to Rich. Wow. Oh, All right, oh, guys, rip. thanks. <laughs> Rich, um, if you're having money problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but views ain't one. Hit me. I, I beg people. I beg corporations. I beg everybody. The only tier I have is one. 
and it's one dollar a month my content is worthwhile enough to support me on patreon and it'll definitely help and this fat cheeseburger eating greasy motherfucker rich give one dollar a month so i cannot fear talking about things like that and i can become the older of your tech usa again where i don't have to worry about what words come out of my mouth to begin with so the patrons are essentially are panhandling rich just like fucking people like myself say they are my content is worth supporting and it's phenomenal I was very transparent in my Patreon video. It's not that I'm not making money on YouTube. Uh, my Patreon, my Review Tech USA Patreon, is now at $872 a month. Hope this upset you. Hope you don't fucking die of a stroke or have a fucking heart attack, you fat fuck. But for that one tier, I'm only asking for a buck a month. So for $12 a year, you could help my channel. Um, if you love what you do, the money will eventually come. But it's all about the money. But it's all about the money. But it's all about the money. No, I'm not setting up a Patreon. I'm not. Rich, not. look, at you said just a little while ago that you're not going to be making a Patreon. Yeah. Are you 100% you're not going to be making a Patreon? Pretty much, yes. All right. Well, there it is. He's not making a Patreon. Because I'm not in a financial position I need to make a Patreon. That, that wouldn't be right to do. So what am I doing with my Patreon? Um, I'm not doing anything extravagant. I physically would not have the time to do that. The only tier I have is one, and it's $1 a month. And what I'm hoping to see happen is that people give $1 a month. This is a video that I'm sure is going to have a wide range of responses, um, but it's one that needed to be made. And this Patreon campaign that I'm doing is something that I probably should have started and stuck to years ago, but I was afraid to. But ever since Adpocalypse, that has changed. There has been a fundamental shift in my channel, and I'm sure many of you have noticed it, um, where the topics I cover um, have been much more benign. Now, luckily for me, um, I wasn't as hard hit um, as other channels, but it still hurt a lot, not only financially, but in terms of partially in terms of the growth of my channel too. Now, what made me want to attempt Patreon again is because recently I made a video uh, talking about Wolfenstein 2 and what happened. Um, the video was permanently, had limited monetization. It was manually reviewed and limited ads were placed on it permanently. So what am I doing with my Patreon? Um, I'm not doing anything extravagant. I physically would not have the time to do that. The only tier I have is one and it's $1 a month. And what I'm hoping to see happen is that people have enough faith in my show and want to see me cover those controversial topics again enough to give $1 a month so I cannot fear talking about things like that and I can become the old Review Tech USA again where I don't have to worry about what words come out of my mouth. And that's why I only have one tier and for that one tier, I'm only asking for a buck a month. So for $12 a year, you could help my channel expand and grow and become what it was before where i don't have to fear what i talk about and i don't have to fear about holding my tongue we'll see what happens and for those of you that want to support me through this patreon thank you so damn much you have no idea how much it means
Hey, what's up, guys? You could have spent money to prevent acute malnutrition through large-scale emergency feeding programs, but instead you are supporting my Patreon, so thank you. Why provide sustenance to millions of children when millions of children can provide me a Big Mac and large fries for reading them video game articles? Who knew? Don't be fooled by children in the grips of famines and hunger crisis. Donate money to people that think effort is adjusting a camera. Whoa, that was hard. Donate money to YouTubers that think hard work is searching the internet for the latest and greatest video game article to reread. I won't give any of my Patreon royalties to anyone that wrote the original video game articles, okay? Seriously, who knew plagiarism and Patreon would make a fantastic bedfellow? Plagiarism, Patreon, and YouTube revenue. It's like a love triangle. Or at least a wet dream for me. Guys, I can't get a job. Do you see how much time and effort I'm putting into regurgitating these video game articles? I mean, seriously. Donate to my Patreon. Oh, no, 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 wait, this is a thank you video. Thanks for giving me some money on Patreon. Do you think just every Joe Blow can turn on a camera in their mother's basement and regurgitate a video game article and tack on their opinion? Come on, this is hard work, people. Could you imagine if I had to stress out and think about getting a job? Thank God I have no kids, because if I did, I sure would feel fucking irresponsible. Just depending on YouTube revenue and Patreon? Completely irresponsible, that's how I'd feel. So remember kids, ask mom and dad for more money this Christmas so you can support me. Yes, your favorite YouTuber that rereads you video game articles. Or Santa won't let me read you Kutaku articles! Hey, this is a shout out to a very, very dedicated man who says that he is just criticism and parody. I've actually heard that line before. Yeah, so yeah, he's definitely, I don't know what happened to you. He thinks, I, I'm pretty sure he thinks that I flagged his old channel. I never flagged his old channel. I never once, once flagged his channel and never told anyone to. Okay, I don't know who did. Um, I know he, he's like, oh, because you made videos on me. Yeah, dude, I made a video refuting what you said. Fuck you, tough shit. I don't care. Yeah, as a matter of fact, in that video, I told people to leave you the hell alone. If people didn't at that point... I don't know what to tell you, but I've never once told anyone to go after you. If you don't like the fact that I have an opinion about you back, you could fuck off. But I'm sitting here, and I'm just like, he just made a video, I didn't even watch the whole thing, where he says that he's not uh, obsessed with me. So like, you know what, let me take like literally three to five minutes of my time, and just look through his channel. And the thing, the reason why, like I said, this bothers me, is... Is just, it, it, it brings negative shit to my channel. <sighs> it's it's really... Dude, you're not a... Let me just say something to you right now, Joe. Yeah, because I'm sure you're going to watch this because you get mad that I post videos on here. One, yeah, once in a while I'm going to make a video coming back at you. If you don't like it, fuck off. I'm not going to stop just like you don't stop. But you can't be on the offensive like he is constantly and being... He, he doesn't stop. He's relentless. And think that no one... What are you going to say? Oh, but I could come after you and attack the living shit out of you. But if you come after me, you know, how dare you? I, I, I could be, I'm very sensitive. Fuck off, man. You can't be the way you are and expect no one to come at you and hide behind the veil of, I have issues and it's parody. Am I saying he can't have an opinion on me? No, you can have an opinion on me all the fuck you want to. But this is an extreme, Joe. This is extreme. This is extreme. And if you don't see that this is extreme, you have issues, which, no shit. So, it is what it is, man. Hey, Joe, you want to keep doing this? People are going to come back at you. And if that pisses you off, get the fuck off YouTube then. It is what it is, Joe. Hey. Look, man, you keep doing what you're doing, but I'll let you know right now, if I want to come back at you and give my opinions on some of the stuff that you're doing, I'm going to do it. And if you don't like that, too fucking bad. Yeah, I haven't talked about him in a long time. Whatever, man. Joe, at this point, if you're going to say that you don't have some kind of clear either obsession or maybe you are dick riding my channel, dude. Maybe you are. I don't know. But if this, you know, you know, makes your ass hurt a little bit, tough fucking shit.
<laughs> you know, don't come at me with that you're a delicate snowflake after the offensive prick of an asshole that you are constantly all the time. And then you say you can't take it back. Cry me a fucking river, dude. Deal with it or get the fuck off YouTube. So the topic I'm going to discuss in this video is Patreon and how people, for some reason, when other people with their own money choose to support a Patreon or choose to support a Kickstarter, whatever the case may be, they lose their minds and they, they write Bibles on Facebook or Twitter or whatever social media platform you're on, sitting there lecturing people about how horrible they are that they're supporting a Patreon while there's children starving around the world. But anyway, these are like the four or five typical talking points that I hear when people go anti-Patreon. And the first one I hear is that that supporting someone on Patreon or someone opening up a Patreon, I should say, is them panhandling. And when you support someone on Patreon, you're basically supporting them panhandling, which is 100% wrong, okay? When someone opens up a Patreon, they're offering a product or service. You may like their content. Oh, you know, there's even Patreons open for emulators. The Wii U emulator has a Patreon. It has over $30,000 on it. There, someone is offering you a good service, whether it be videos, whether it be an emulator, or a piece of software, whatever the case may be, and you're willing to support it. But the thing that I hear all the time is that if you support someone on Patreon, you're supporting someone panhandling. You're, you're supporting them e-begging, which again, people think about Patreon this way because it's a new way to support people People that create content for you and therefore they have to shoot it down but let me compare patreon to something else that you most most of these people are too simple to think about this way okay howard stern is worth over half a billion dollars he is on sirius xm people pay monthly maybe not just for him but for you know the service as a whole to listen to howard stern and other shows on there are the people on Sirius XM that have talk shows, are they panhandlers? It's the people who are paying that monthly fee that are supporting them. It's the same thing, but you're too dumb to think it's the same thing because, oh, it's going through a corporation. And I've been conditioned all these years to think that's different. It's not different. It's not different, you simple, dumb morons. What's the difference? There is no difference. You're just dumb and we're conditioned to think there is a difference. But Rich, oh, it's Howard Stern. What's the difference with what Howard Stern's doing? Why, because he's super mega famous? He's doing the same thing my fat ass is doing right now. He's sitting in front of a microphone talking. He's not doing anything different. You're just conditioned to think that way because he's on a conventional format. And that's why you think the way he gets paid is different than the way from someone on Patreon gets paid. And that's why you consider someone on Patreon a panhandler and it's okay for Howard Stern to do it. So by you calling out people who choose to support people on Patreon because they like their content and they enjoy it makes you the biggest goddamn hypocrites on the planet. I am so tired of all these people who stand on soapboxes trying to make other people feel terrible. Until what other people spend their money on affects your wallet, you need to sit down and shut up and stop worrying about what other people are doing with their lives. So, uh, Rich from Review Tech USA just made a video talking about how people who talk shit about those who use Patreons are holding fucking stupid morons, those fucking easy to stupid realize. What a Patreon is! <laughs> and this fat cheeseburger eating greasy motherfucker, Rich, equated YouTube Patreons to satellite subscriptions of XMFM and said, like, oh, there's, oh, there's somebody called Howard Stern who makes about $100 million a year and people pay a subscription to listen to him and that's the same thing! Well, actually, no, it's not, you fucking retard. It's not anywhere near the same thing. The YouTube goddamn Patreons are unnecessary for content creators to produce content because Google is what pays the fees to YouTube content creators with ad revenue. Unlike XMF and radio, which almost solely relies on fucking people to pay a subscription to help pay for what it costs to run the shows with the ads that the people pay to be on those shows for XMF and radio. And in fact, actually, if I'm not fucking mistaken, I don't think XMF radio even has commercials. Do they even have commercials? I don't know. I don't fucking listen to XMF and radio. Howard Stern can suck my dick. He's not my goddamn style. Yes. 
And these Patreons, unlike actually, you know, XMF Radio, who I just talked shit about, which, you know, some of those channels, I went ahead had it free when I first bought my new Ford truck. They gave it to me for six months free and they want me to pay for it afterwards. Actually, has some good content. They have good comedy. They have music. They have all kinds of good stuff, unlike 99% of content creators, which are fucking straight trash. But besides the point of Ram Tangent there, call YouTube Patreons. The rewards that people get from them are negligible garbage. And, oh, you get a follow back on Twitter. Oh, you'll get some early access to some of my videos. They're all just garbage. They're all bullshit because there's nothing that any YouTube content creator could provide But besides all our shitty content, which is free anyways, that anyone would fucking want to begin with. So the patrons are essentially are panhandling rich, just like fucking people like myself say they are because people don't get shit for them. And if that's the way it is, then I'm sorry. Hope he doesn't upset you. Hope you don't fucking die of a stroke or have a fucking heart attack, you fat fuck. Christ. Get on a diet. Jesus Christ, you fucking retard. What's up, guys? Just wanted to make a quick video uh, thanking everybody. Uh, there's been a ton of support for Review Tech USA's Patreon, and it's because of you guys now that the Patreon has grown to the point that I am now getting enough to support this office where I work out of, and that's a huge deal. Uh, it, it's amazing to see that people feel that my content is worthwhile enough to support me on Patreon, and it'll definitely help <laughs> because doing all this and getting this studio up and running and getting this office to where I needed to be was a huge financial investment, and now that I know that you guys deem it worthwhile to support me and help pay the rent for this office to keep it going is phenomenal. Um, I also want to thank everybody too. I was very transparent in my Patreon video. It's not that I'm not making money on YouTube, but due to YouTube's new policies, due to how sensitive advertisers have been, I it, it limits what I could talk about. But again, for everyone who supported me on the Patreon, you're awesome. And everyone who just watches my channel, it's because people actually want to watch the videos that I put up that I'm even here doing this in this office right now. Thank you so much. But this is just a thank you video for everyone who's been supporting me through Patreon. It is over $1,000 a month. It kind of went back and forth. It was a little under 1000 over 1000 a little under 1000 over 1000 But now it's over 1000 and it continues to grow. And obviously, it's not completely supplementing what I get on YouTube. But it, it has made me more daring to talk about topics that I kind of shied away from for, like, honestly, the past year and a half. Slowly but steadily, I see it growing almost every day to at one point say that that Patreon campaign that I have, I'm supported by the community and the YouTube income that I get is secondary because that would give me so much damn freedom on my channel. And that's really all it's about is having freedom to, to talk about what I want to talk about on YouTube. What's up, everybody? It's your uh, favorite fat YouTuber here, Review Tech USA. And this is a positive video. Um, I see a lot of people making certain videos like this and they're always negative and urgent and, oh my God, I, I need you to support my crowdfunding or, you know, that's the only time they actually talk about crowdfunding and the only time they actually thank people that support them via crowdfunding is when they have an urgent negative message to give to people. And I don't want to do that. I want to make a positive video thanking you guys because, um, it's been for a while now, but it's still going great. Uh, my Patreon, my Review Tech USA Patreon is now at $872 a month, which pays for the rent here and some of the internet bill. And that is a huge, huge relief. I'm still doing okay on YouTube, but things are stressful. There's, they must have changed their algorithm now where videos have been flip-flopping back and forth. Kind of. I'm so glad to see, too, that the investment in this office was worthwhile. 99% uh, of the comments I get about the format change are positive. I've, all the other format changes did not have the same reception. So things are looking really good right now. So if you're supporting me on Patreon, thank you. Even if you're not and you're just supporting me by you know going to the live streams I do or watching my YouTube videos, everything combined is helping this channel. You know, And I'm looking forward to seeing where things go. And I also want to thank the patrons for Patreon. I'm over I'm over a thousand dollars a month on Patreon, and that definitely helps with the office. It helps with the cable bill there. Uh, that's a big thing, and I'm very very humble to see that much support relatively quick quickly on my Patreon. There's people with double the subscribers of me who don't get that kind of support that quick. So. So this is fun. 
it's always exciting to see eight hours worth of work be totally shot down the drain. So I've been working on this video all day. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? What are, you, what are you talking about now? The video was fully monetized when I made it live. What are you talking about? And then I see this. The following content has been ident identified by the YouTube community as inappropriate or offensive to some audiences. My entire day of work, even beyond the video being monetized, is now shot down the drain. It, it, it's dead. The video is dead in the water. This is what it's like now uploading news stories, whether it be tech news stories or political news stories to YouTube. It's a roll of a dice if you're going to make money now. And in some ways it's gotten worse. And I, I don't know if I could do this anymore. <laughs> I don't know if I could play this game anymore because it, it, it's just not supporting my channel. It, it, this is not a way I, I can make a living. So something is going to have to change. Or I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of flabbergasted at this point because I can't roll the dice like this all the time. I can't. It, it's just not working. And this kind of nonsense that I'm dealing with isn't going to pay the bills. So something's got to give. So I'm going to do a litmus test right now. If you want to continue to see news stories like the one I uploaded today, I have a Patreon. I'll have a link to it below in the description. I ask for no more than a dollar a month. If I see growth on my Patreon from making this video, I will continue to make videos like this. But if you guys do want to continue to see this content, then you will support the Patreon. And I don't have to worry about this nonsense anymore. I could upload what I want to and not think about what I'm uploading. You know, I saw a bum on the street today and he had the audacity to ask me for money. <laughs> You know what I told him? I said, get a YouTube channel and contribute to society, you degenerate. Fuck you, Review Tech USA. All right, I'm not going into how much I make. My affiliation with Rich and Review Tech USA. He's an emotional victim from past sponsorships that had dropped him because of his unprofessionalism. He's unprofessional. He doesn't do business well. If it involves money, he doesn't want to do anything with it. He will use his numbers as far as YouTube to try and walk his way out of money. Because when it came to money, he didn't want to pay up. Do you make $10,000 a month, yes or no? Because I don't think you do. I don't think you have. Yes, I have. I, I beg people. I'm getting paid. Southern Blue Spruce, I just started a tech gaming channel. Any advice? Uh, do it for fun. Do it for fun. Um, if you love what you do, the money will eventually come. But it's all about the money. It's all about the money. Oh, God. I didn't mean that. It's all about loving what you do. Well, thank you for donating. Hope this helps in painting that room already. Uh. Teach USA is a fat, shameless a beggar. Yes, I am asking for donations. Yes, I know I'm going to be called an e-beggar. So what I'm asking for is donations. If you could give five cents, if you could give two bucks. Review Beg USA. Um, I didn't scam anybody. Rich, um, if you're having money problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but views ain't one.